Hi there coaches, Christy Mullender here from The Analyst. I'm going to be taking you through the iSports analysis platform to assist you in analyzing your games. So the first thing you need to do is um, download Google Chrome if you haven't got it. Um, Google Chrome is our browser of choice. We've noticed that the other browsers, um, iSports analysis, doesn't run as smoothly. So before we start, you need to ensure that you allow pop-ups for iSports analysis. So you need to go into Google Chrome, you need to click on your settings. Um, once you're in settings, please scroll down to privacy and security and click on site settings. Once you are in site settings, find this little subtitle that says pop-ups and redirects. If you click on that, you'll see um, you can allocate websites that you want to block pop-ups for and websites that you want to allow pop-ups pop for. So if you see where it says allow, if you click add and you just type in the iSports Analysis URL, so it's www.isportsanalysis.com and just click add, that website will be set to your allowed um, list. All right, so once you've done that, you can then um, log into your channels. So all you need to do is just type in isportsanalysis.com, sorry, isportsanalysis.com, and click enter. And once you're on the landing page, you can then click on channel sign in. You will see that you require username and password. If you are if this is your first year being added, you would have received your username and password a couple of weeks ago. However, if you've made use of iSports Analysis previously, um, you should have received your username and password last year or the year before. If any of you have any struggles, please just contact me on WhatsApp and I'll reset your password or, or add you to the platform if, you haven't, if it hasn't been done yet. All right, so once you add, you've typed in your username and password, you can click on Sign In and you'll be taken to your channel. Um, the way iSports Analysis works is um, we create permission lists. So every single session or game that has been uploaded and you've been given permission to see, you'll be able to have access to it in on this page. If for some reason you haven't, um, or the, the session that you're looking for isn't here, please let me know and I'll just double check that you all the permissions have been set correctly. All right, so sometimes you'll find that um, you have access or you might be a coach for a winter and a summer sport. Um, so if you want to just filter down to only hockey games at the top where it says all sections, you can click on there and you just click hockey. You'll see that I've given you access to hockey 2019 um, just so that you have sessions and games that you can practice your analysis on. So once you've set your section to Hockey 2019, you can then go to your categories and then if you'd like to, you can then filter it down another level to an age group um, for your hockey games. All right, so you'll notice that um, all these games have little bar graphs next to it. These bar graphs are to let you know that the games have been analyzed or coded. So if you just click on any session, you'll scroll down and you'll be sent straight to the interactive match report. So you'll notice everything on the left hand column are all the home, um, as in St. John's um, key performance indicators. Um, the middle are the opposition's key performance indicators, so it's obviously our defense. And then on the right hand side, you'll see all the efficiency ratings. So the efficiency rating is basically calculated if you, if you are if it's your penalty corner, so you're on attack and you have two penalty corners and you score from both of them, this will obviously be 100%. Um, the same goes for the defense. So if your opposition have two penalty corners and they score from both of them, um, it will obviously say 0% because, yeah, obviously we want our defense to be 100%, which means that we saved all the those penalty corners. And then 25 free hit efficiency, that's basically to let you know how efficient your 25 free hit was. So if, it, if the ball um, is taken um, as a free hit in the 25, 
basically if the ball goes into the circle and there's a shot at goal that means that there was um, a successful 25 free hit because you want to have as many scoring opportunities as you can um, and then your 16 yard efficiency rating is basically if it's your 16 yard and you take the um, and you hit the ball over the halfway line and you keep possession of the ball so you're now on attack that will obviously be a successful 16 yard all right so you'll notice that um, the left hand column and the middle column are interactive so if you want to have a look at all the seven penalty corners you click on the number seven and what will appear will be the seven clips that have been coded and I'll take you through the coding process or just to understand how the coding works um, after this so basically if you click on the first clip that will take you to the first penalty corner of the game and then obviously the second clip will be the second penalty corner of the game well from the home perspective so the attacking penalty corners and then obviously the rest is self-explanatory all right so you'll see that these columns are interactive however your percentages aren't interactive because those are obviously a calculation um, all right so next up um, we're going to click on analysis and event filter all right so you'll notice that the game will start playing immediately so you can just press pause you can press um, you can start and stop the video by clicking in any white space and using your spacebar to play it and your spacebar to stop it Right, at the bottom here you'll see that you've got a timeline and this timeline has been created um, or was coded by us during the game. So you'll notice that every time the opposition had an outlet there will be a little instance on the timeline. The same goes for all the other key performance indicators. So you'll see that we've got opposition outlets, home outlets, 25 entries, circle entries, 25 free hits, shots at goal, 16 yards. Um, penalty corner, corner lead-ups as well as goals. Um, Alright, so that's just basically to show you that a timeline's been linked to this footage which means you'll be able to analyze it. So if you click on these three dots at the bottom of your video player you can then click on picture in picture and you'll notice that this little window pops up. Um, before you do anything with that click on bookmarks and event filter which is this little yellow button on the left hand side and then click on event filter. If you move this to the right hand side you can then click and hold the bottom corner of your video player just to make it a little bit bigger and the reason why I do this is to try and make it easier for you to filter through each key performance indicator and analyze it. So you'll notice over here that a total of 235 instances were tagged during the game um, so in basically it means that 235 clips and the tags are basically um, just to say whether the short corner was successful or not, if the 16 yard was successful or not, the 25 free hit, um, as well as your defensive penalty corners. Um, all right, so on the left hand side, you'll see if we go and we click on home penalty corners, you'll see that we've basically filtered the clips so that we only see the home penalty corners. So all the penalty corners will be found on the right hand side. So if you want to start analyzing these you can just double click on the first of those penalty corners and it will immediately take us to the first attacking PC. Alright, so once, you, once you've watched it you can obviously double click on it again you can rewatch it from the start. If there's something in this clip that you'd like to pull out or keep to one side and discuss either positive or negative you can then keep this little tick in the box so this clip you when there's a tick next to it it means that you want to add this to your playlist if you double click on the next penalty corner you can then watch that PC and if there's something that you don't need to discuss you can then deselect that clip and you can do the same thing for each of the um, following clips so you can basically build up a playlist saying that you only want this clip this clip and this clip so in total you have three clips 
So once you've selected the clips that you want to create your playlist from, you then click on bookmarks and then you give your bookmark a name. So this is PC Attack and let's just say that we want to show all the positives. You can then click save and you'll see that your PC Attack positives will have been created in a bookmark over here. You can either share it with your players or your, the rest of your coaches by leaving the screen. If you click on that, it will go red and it will say that it's private. This means only you'll be able to see the bookmark that you've created. If you want to then have a look at that bookmark, you can just click on show bookmark and it will come up with those three clips that you've pulled out that you want to discuss either with your own coaches or your players. And then if you want to email these three clips to somebody, all you need to do is click on that button and then you can just call it whatever. So I know it says highlights, but it's the same thing as just a bookmark. So you can just say positive PC attack, and then you can then click into email message. So that's optional. You can just say next, and then you can type in, you can either send it to different permission lists, or you can actually send it to a specific person. So let's just send it to my personal email address. And then to say set recipients. And those, those three clips will then be emailed to me and I'll then be able to access that um, those clips from my email. All right, so let's just go back to the analysis and event filter. So basically, um, that's how you create your, your bookmarks through putting, clicking on picture in a picture and then obviously your bookmarks and event filter. And then you can go through everything else, you know, or anything else. So for instance, if you want to go and have a look at or your shots at goals, you can then go and double click on each clip and then create a playlist from that. So say for instance, if I was looking at home circle entries and I don't, I've, now I've gone through all the clips and I don't want to look at them anymore, you can just press this little cross here and it will remove it from your filter. And you can then go and click on just to say home outlets for instance. All right, so that's one way of doing your analysis. And then um, just to show you that the analysis matrix, this is just another way to view your clips. So if you wanna go and have a look at all your home 25 entries, you then click on the 41 and then all 41 clips will appear um, in your pop-up window. Um, and then lastly, if you go into coaches corner, this is where your discussions and your analysis will take place with your either with your other coaches or with your actual team. If you want to physically post a message, you can then find a clip that you want to discuss. So if we just click on opposition 25 entry and we'll take that random one over there. If you just click out of that, you'll then see that the opposition 25 entry clip is here. And if you see something that you want to comment on, you can then just Maybe go back five seconds. So using these arrows, so you can go back or you can go forward. And then what you can do is you can physically post a message. So you can then say post message and you can just say um, defensive setup for instance. And you can type a message saying um, make sure everyone is ball side for instance and then you can either um, send this openly for a discussion to everyone on your permission list so you can then just say post as a coach and then on the right hand side you can then see everyone who's got access to these clips and then you can just say you can Leave that as, as off and then obviously leave all of these off and you can just say post message. And then basically it will come up over here with my comments. So if you scroll down here and you just click on this clip, it will then take you to the clip and the comment that I've written. If you want to send a private message, what you can do is you can obviously find your the start of your clip again. So just make sure that you've 
gone back or you rewound to the beginning of your clip because if you put your comments after the clip's finished, it won't sync. So what you've written won't be synced to the actual clip. So just make sure you rewind a little bit before making a comment. And then if you want to post a private message, you can just say feedback. Um, and just say for side, whatever. You can say posting as a coach. And say you want to send it specifically to somebody. I'll just do it to myself. And then you just say private. So you say email, a private message um, to me um, or the player or the coach that you want to actually physically send the comment to. And you just say post message. And that message will then be in, will show in, in red, which means it's private. And I will receive an email with this exact comment as well as a link to the clip so that then I can then have a look at that privately. If you want to make use of the coach's pen, you can go into your bookmarks and event filter and find a clip. You can then press stop and you can click on this little green icon. And you'll find you've got a toolbar full of your coach's pen tools. So you can say how thick you want your, your line to be when you're drawing. So if it's leave it on three, and if we then go and start drawing pictures, you can then use the different tools. So if you want to change the color, you can then click on and let's make it green and do a circle. And then you can just obviously move your drawing around and make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want. You can also make use of those little spotlights. So if you click on, so if you change to yellow and click on the spotlight, and then create a little drawing over that guy there. All right. If you'd like to post a message in conjunction with your drawing that you created, before you click save, just make sure that post message is on green. And then what you can do is you can save your drawing and we'll let you, a little note will pop up saying that your coach's drawing has been saved. And then it will take you immediately to your coach's corner where you can write a message in conjunction with your, your coach's pen drawing.